All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout New Vegas, part 33 with Nova and Arcade Ganon. I just woke up, so if I sound slightly different, that is what it is, and I am going to try to <laughs> not be stupid. Not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Okay, it's just what? a cry. It looks like an adult in a child body. That doesn't look like a kid's head, but okay. Let's go, Arcade. Arcade. His name is Arcade. Alright, so far, Freeside has been a lot more empty and not as exciting as I at first thought it was going to be. I'm gonna... What the? I say, and then... Damn, Arcade! You killed that man before I even knew we were under attack. Yeah, wow, there's like just actually people that will try to kill you in Freeside? That seems... Odd. This place is even more run down and like I don't even, I don't know what to say. Um, this place is even worse off than I thought it was originally. Hmm. Okay. Well. Interesting. Let's keep moving. This is the way to the strip in general. And I'm starting to wonder: Do I even want to go to the strip right now? Like. We're about to hit level 20. What if we hit 20 while we're there? And then we... I, I kind of almost want to do stuff outside the strip and go to Honest Hearts first. And I know that's like icing it. You know what I mean? Like, like we're so close. Why aren't you going in? But like, uh, I don't know. No way. That... Uh, yeah, this guy's going to try to kill us. But okay, here we go. Does he have dynamite on his hip? Here we go. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. A friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Yeah, so... Freeside's pretty messed up. <laughs> I can't believe they thought that was gonna work. Bro, what? Do they see the equipment we're rocking? That was not a big brain move, guys. He had a machete. Wow. Okay. So not only is it rough out here, but the thugs are stupid and very blatant. Like, they are down to just... Anybody willing to go down an alley, they're down. Why even wait for them to go down an alley, though? It's not like there's guards out here that I can see. Okay, well, Freeside is not what I expected. This is ex this is extra bad. I can't believe... Hold up. So, strip is the strip is supposed to be like this paradise. It's literally on the other side of Freeside. Like, of the wall. Like, there's paradise in the strip. You cross the wall, and you're in Freeside, and it's this bad. That's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> nice. We'll take all that. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my god, Mickey and Ralphs! That's what the kid was crying about. Crying as in, you know, he's like a town crier, like, advertising. That's what the kid was advertising. Oh, hello, Rot Face. Rot Face. Hey, buddy. What? Spare a cap. Apparently I'm under... Worth your while. Apparently I'm in combat. Uh, sure, here you go. Uh, sorry, maybe another... T uh, we'll give him one. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his <laughs> hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. I mean, it's already pretty That's bad here, two dude. Tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? Oh, so I'm buying tips for one cap? I'll pay another cap for another tip. Yeah, that's a good deal. Things have generally been bad here for the squatters. The people who came here hoping for a better life and just got stuck. Uh-huh. But lately, the mood has changed. The squatters seem to be a bit more optimistic. I wonder what happened. I got more where that came that from. That one wasn't very helpful. It's another. probably the followers. Sure. The strip is run by the three families who owe their allegiance to Mr. House. Now that's good info. When he first showed up, 
He gave the local tribes the choice of working with him or getting the hell out of his way. Oof. Given how things turned out, I know which way I'd have gone. But hindsight's 2020, right? I got more where that came from. One another. This guy probably has so many tips. Let, let's hit this another time. We got combat music going on. I'm under attack, apparently. Oh, hello. What's up, guys? And there goes him. Okay. We've already killed... Wait, 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 wait. We just got into Freeside this morning. It's still only 6 o'clock in the morning. And we've already... Those usually sell okay. Nice. And we've only... And we've already killed six people. What the hell is this place? Six people already. Ah, my favorite customer. Got a cap for me? Hit it. The NCR used to run a prison to the southwest. Yeah, I knew that. Something happened a little while back. And now all you'll get is hard looks if you ask about it. What do you say? Want another tip? Well, they're all dead now. There's a rumor that a huge army is camped to the east, massing to attack the NCR. Like that it ever happened. It would. Who in the world could stand up to the NCR and win? The Legion. What I'll make sure say? of it. Want another tip? Sure, here you go. I've heard people passing through mention some kind of underground fights pitting creatures of the waste against one another for sport. And when I say underground, that's their word I'm using, not my own. That one was pretty good, right? Okay. How about another? So there's something underground maybe we're looking for. So three families run the strip and there's a there's an underground ring we need to be looking for. Those are the two main things I'm gathering from this. If you've been around the Kings, you may have met one of them named Pacer. He's always stomping around trying to show off his authority. Being new, you weren't around when it happened. But a few months ago, Pacer pissed off the Van Graaf family big time. No one knows what went down, but word is the Van Graaf still want him dead. Ooh, maybe we can do that for him. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? That it? That was decent, actually. While everyone knows Mr. House runs New Vegas, no one knows the first thing about him. He just sort of showed up a few years back, and everything you see around you is the result. Just <coughs> who in the hell is he? What do you say? Want another tip? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. East of Freeside, there's an old Air Force base, judging by the road signs. No one knows for sure what's in there, though. On account of anyone approaching the place getting violently blown up. Okay, so look for mines and stuff if we go to an airbase. On another. <laughs> Don't get blown up. The Omertas, one of Mr. House's three families, run a casino called Gamora on the Strip. If you thought the Wrangler was something, you owe it to yourself to go there. I remember the sign I for know Gamora. Where that came from. One another. It's it's one of the few things that imprinted in my brain 12 years ago or however long it was. A traveler that passed through here not long ago told everyone he met that there's some kind of plant paradise to the west where food is abundant. Ugh. All the people foolish enough to listen to him and head out that way never came back. So it's deadly too. Know where that came from. One another. Okay, so there was a plant paradise in Fallout 3 as well and it was all around... No, not Herbert. What was his name? Herbert is what... Oh, shit. This is the problem with my memory. This was like two, three months ago. Maybe it was a few more months than that, but... Oh, damn it. There's a, there was like a ghoul in Fallout 1 that had a sapling on his head. And in Fallout 3, he had a tree grow around him. And he called it Herbert. And he was stuck, but when he got stuck in the tree that was growing from him... It grew like this oasis area in Fallout 3, and it's possible it's something along those lines. People in Freeside generally fall into one of two categories. Those who've been here all their lives call themselves locals. When people from the NCR and other places started pouring in, the locals began referring to them as squatters, and the name stuck. The locals blame the squatters for the scarcity of resources in Freeside, and the squatters blame any act of violence against them on the locals. 
They're both right to some extent. And violent outbreaks between the two are all too common these days. Yikes. What do you say? Want another tip? Sure, here. There's a guy out Dude, on the main this is so much. <laughs> adventuring gear. He's got an okay selection. But where does it come from? The main drag. What is that? Where that came from. What is the main One drag? Another. Have you is that like the main street of Freeside? To be Have we not seen it? Those big metal murder machines. Happens every day around here. But if you know the right people, you can get through the gate without being a rich man. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Sure. The chairman run a casino on the strip called The Tops. It's a pretty classy place by all reports. I haven't been there myself, but I hear security there is kind of tight. That one was pretty Don't good. Don't expect to right? bring your weapons in there. It's something his another? subtitle said that he didn't say. Okay, interesting. At the northwest end of Fremont Street, you'll find the Silver Rush. It's run by a rather scary family called the Van Graffs. I want to work with them. These are not people you want to mess with. But <laughs> I keep hearing that. And such are your thing. The goods they sell are second to none. That one was okay. pretty good, right? How about another? Yeah, I want to see their store, and I want to kill Pacer for them. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. I haven't really met the king and a lot of the kings, and I haven't met the Van Graffs yet, but that's kind of the feel I'm getting. In the area between the north and east gates is the old Mormon fort, where the followers of the apocalypse have set themselves up. Yep, seen the it. The followers aren't a bad bunch, and provide healing and supplies to the people of Freeside as they can. I got more where that came from. One another. How many of these is he gonna have? Traders have been griping for a while now about I-15 being too dangerous to travel. I'd steer clear of it unless you're armed to the teeth. Yeah, the death claw problem. That one was pretty good, right? He, there's another? no way he's got a lot more. I'm sorry. I know we've been here for a while, but he's got some good tips. Mention the NCR and people around here get a little on edge. There's talk that they're going to take over all of New Vegas. It doesn't help that they've got military camps all over the place, and more troops pour into the area daily. What do you say? Want another tip? Too many. They can't even handle them all. Drugs are everywhere in Freeside, and even people you might not expect have become addicts. Jacob Hoff, for instance. That man was a brilliant chemist before he picked up the habit. Now, just another junkie. Jacob Hoff. Okay. That King Pacer's a fan of Jet, too. Though I heard one of the followers talking about it being dangerous for him. Something about his heart. Oh, shit. Do yourself a favor and stay away from that stuff, I can. Okay? <laughs> maybe I can have that him kill himself on good, jet. That would right? be so cool. How about another? Yeah, these are really good. <laughs> you might not look it, but Ralph for Mick and Ralph's is no slouch with a keyboard. I've heard he's helped reprogram several robots in his time. Oh, uh, maybe he say? could. Maybe he, there was on something he could do tip. with Eddie. But Eddie's dead, man. Ah. Northwest of the Rest big peace, Eddie. sign is a casino called the Atomic Wrangler. It's not as fancy as the ones on the street. Oh, we can go to a casino on the free side. Plenty of excitement to be found there. Oh, let's go. I got more where that came from. Want another? I want to go to the free side casino. Caught a rumor the other day that some of the clientele over at the Wrangler have been making some rather strange requests. Stuff like weirdos wanting the <clears throat> services of ghouls and such. <laughs> I almost have half a mind to volunteer myself. Sexy beast that I am. Damn straight, you Rob say? Face. You get in there and Want get that tip? cash flow. <laughs> I love the, the unnecessary confidence. I know he's, he's playing it. You know what I mean. We all know what's going on here, but that's funny. There was a rumor a while back that the White Glove Society was really an all-ghoul gang. Which is why they wear those weird masks of theirs. What do you think? Would I look good in a mask? <coughs> Maybe I'd make more caps. What do you say? Want another An all tip? ghoul gang? I mean, you could tell by their voice, couldn't you? And their hands I and probably don't their necks? I tell you that Freeside's dangerous. But you might want to think twice about hiring one of those guards at the gates. They're not all saints, is all I'm saying. Ooh. I got more where that came from. One another. There's a couple things happening with the guards at the gates. Maybe there is something there that we can investigate later. Have you been to Mick and Ralph's yet? They run a store just down the street and sell some things you might not expect. I got more where that came from. Want another? 
There's, I just, I can't believe how much this guy has. I've heard the Garretts over at the Atomic Wrangler are having a hard time collecting some money owed to them. Oh, we're in. An enterprising person like yourself might be able to make some caps helping them with their little problem. That sounds like something Nova what can do. What do you say? Want another tip? Arcade, Arcade might not like that, though. Saw a strange thing the other day. The king took that <laughs> robo dog of his over to the old Mormon fort. <laughs> robo dog. The weird thing was that the dog was flipping out and had to be restrained by a few of the king's men. I hope he doesn't get loose. Okay, so a dangerous robo dog. What do you say? Want another tip? This is unbelievable. I heard something about a town south of here being attacked, but details are sketchy. All Nipton. I know is there haven't been any refugees showing up here. <laughs> yeah, Nipton got messed which up. Which means either the attack wasn't too bad, or it was very, very bad. It was very, very bad. I got more where that came from. Want another? I can't believe this. Ever hear of the <laughs> gun runners? <laughs> this guy just they keeps talking. Just about every kind of firearm you can imagine, and some you probably. If you've couldn't. skipped this by this point, I, I don't got blame more you. Where that came from? Want another? I wouldn't. Oh, th there it is. I understand. Well, have a good day. We probably get him like 40 caps right there. Hey. At one cap a time. Dixon. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Oh shit. What are you, are you selling turbo? Have a look, baby. Are you selling turbo? There's no turbo here. He's got worse version of stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it's not turbo, so I'm not interested. Goodbye. Bye. Where did I get that turbo? God dang it. I mean, I don't feel like I wasted it. I feel like we would have died to those death claws had I not used it, but... Max, Stacy, Can I talk to these kids? Max can't even hit me. He's so dumb. <laughs> okay, Stacy. Good talking to you. Bro, Max has like an alien blaster on his hip? What is that all about? <laughs> Reach for the sky, lady. Uh... Maybe you should take a break. Uh, can I buy that? Can I buy that gun from you? This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. Uh, wow, forty-five. What if I gave you twenty caps? That's a way more than a million. Forty-five barter. Got it. We'll come back when we have forty-five barter. Don't think I can come up with that kind of cash. Well, if you can get me most of it, I could give you a loan for the rest. All right. See you. I'd say give me that gun, but I know you're going to be really upset about that. We'll get that gun later. When we have a little more skill. Um, though, oh, a couple of things, actually. Milo um, has let me know in the comments that endurance determines how many implants we can get. Um, and if, if that's just straight up number for number, that would mean we can get... Uh, Nine? And there's only nine implants? <clears throat> so, I think we'll be able to get all the implants from the implant lady, which is crazy if so. We just need the money to do it. Oh, I thought that I thought that was like the Wrangler sign. Nope. And we've gone down that way, so I guess Damn. And that's the other way out, so. Yeah, damn. Okay. Uh I guess that's this area of Freeside. Hmm. That could be a door. For all your shopping needs. That is a door. I didn't even, like, fully... Okay, sure. The Kings! Freeside! Advertisers, Silver Rush, the Atomic Rank. Okay, the Atomic Wrangler. This is like actually free side then. Then, or at least you know, much further in. Let's go see what's going on with the Kings. Hey, can I just go in? The King's School of Impersonation. Wait, whoa, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. It's Elvis. Duh. <laughs> that's a <am> <laughs> that's amazing. So there's an Elvis gang. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Your pacer. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? <laughs> Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the king. Got it? Yeah, I'd like to see the king if possible. Sure. Anything's possible, I suppose. 
How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Don't have much on me. Then the king has no interest in seeing you. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay for it. Maybe later if I know I'm supposed to talk to him for something. Thought I saw a magazine on that counter. Can I go back here? Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Oh, pfft. That's an empty room and a half. Oh boy. There's just alcohol in empty rooms? Is that what, is that what there's gonna be in here? Damn, Freeside has been so empty. But, I'm really hoping that turns around soon. Ping pong wall. That's a new Fallout item I've never seen before. Hmm. No. This isn't even an Elvis song that's playing on the radio in the King's base. What are y'all doing? You gotta be playing Elvis music if you're here. Nothing else makes sense. <laughs> Nine iron. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> that's actually funny. I do like that. I do like that. Bed on a desk, because why not? Arcade, can you believe all this? Is Arcade going to get mad if I steal? Like, how strict is Arcade on being a good person? A warning. My covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. <laughs> Alright. Next time I steal something, we'll see how Arcade feels about that. Because if he won't even let me steal, then damn. He's almost unusable. We steal so much. What do you feel about that? Everything good? Ah, he's down for for a little theft. I feel ya. You're not too goody two-shoes then. We can work with that a little bit. Yeah, I didn't even think about stealing when we picked him up, but... Looks like we're set. Dude. Pfft. Absolutely barren. All the kings must be outside. There's nobody in here. Is that the robo dog? Hey, hey. It's gotten so bad that even I think twice before going out at night around here. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Oh, well, there's all the desks. Uh, wow. Uh, this is a much different room. Hello? King Groupie? You're not a king. Does the king know you're up here? No. Okay. So yeah, I guess she's, you know, afforded safety by being here. Groupie. Yep. That, I mean, that adds up. Another king groupie? The king is all that his name implies. And then some. <laughs> okay. Well, they seem happy with their arrangement, I guess. Good for you, girls. You go get that. <laughs> Yeah, they've got some king's outfits, huh? They're not hurting for king's outfits. There's plenty. Alright then. I never found the dog. I heard it barking. What did I miss? It's coming from over there. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how we can get to that dog. Maybe it's uh, accessible from a different area of the building, like when you go through Pacer's door or whatever. Okay, well, we have s somewhat explored the king's base, I guess. And if we ever want to pay money to see the king, the king, then I guess we can. All right then. Personal space meaning anything to you later? Ah, uh, maybe later. Liquor, Buck Steakhouse, Travel Service, those all look fake to me. Dead. Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. <laughs> Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Wow, okay. We got a couple great locations back here. The Atomic Wrangler Casino and the Silver Rush Gambling Hall. Nice. Are they both casinos? That was not what I was led to believe. Atomic Wrangler Casino Time! Good day. Are you drunk on the job? What is that? That's kind of a cool stage for Fallout, like, Fallout standards. This place is kind of kept together here. Francine Garrett. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh, what goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix, and we'll oblige. 
Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do the gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. This place must be like paradise to wastelanders. I mean, those with, you know, <laughs> nowhere better to be and, you know, are, are the type to indulge in uh, horrors of plenty and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's just a place of pleasure, which is so rare in the, in the wasteland. What do you have on tap? Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. I hear you have a problem with tabs, though. So is that, like, false, what I've heard? That's a lot of drinks. 369 caps. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that from you, but... We'll, we'll try a little bit here and there. See what we can get. Sell those, those. Microfusion cells. And I think that's all I'm going to be able to sell. So, yeah, that, that's probably it. Oh, yeah, the spiked knuckles. That's right. All right, we got a little more money. 188. Why not? We're back over 7,000 caps. It's a Thanks. work in progress. I'm looking for a little R&R. &R. Is that what I think it is? Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The <laughs> prostitutes here it is what I thought it was. Slaves. They decide who they service. You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Got it. Uh, do you have any work you need done around here? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Classic well, mistake. Needless to say, in the wasteland. a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Uh, will I have to shoot anyone? Because I really want to shoot someone. Uh, what kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good. Uh... I'll say you've got yourself a deal, because 50% is only another 150 caps. Sure, I guess. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. I'll just run into them, like, over time. You know what I mean? Grex is a no bit hurry. cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. <laughs> okay. He has 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Okay, cool. Easy. Santiago. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Okay, so two people on Freeside, pretty easy. I bet Lady Jane's going to be more Lady difficult. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's NCR. just a little dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Okay, got it. That's all for now. Anything else you need? Uh, goodbye. Talk to you later. Okay, so can I gamble? You know, I'm uh, kind of a lucky person. Nine? Oh no, we're under 160 pounds, so our special got hit. Oh, That's damn. Oh, hey, Drian. Hey, how you doing? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? I might be. I've got one charisma. <laughs> Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. <laughs> okay. So, uh... Are you like an actor or something? Eesh. Is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Uh, sure, since the only casino in Tolt Town. Oh, that means Silver Rush is not a casino. Can't confirm. Just about. But you're raking in the cash in this dump. Really, how much you make it? Uh, you must make a ton. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. So who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Are you Hadrian? Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. 
Yeah, go on. Scram. Okay, bye, Hadrian. Interesting. He's world famous, but I've never heard of him in my life. Oh, God, that's probably really tempting, but no. Okay. All right, all right. We got... Okay, we've got blackjack. We've got roulette. The slots look like they work. Oh, I need to buy chips. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, Arcade. Uh, talk to me, man. What do you, what do you got? What's up? Anything new? <laughs> Nothing new. All right, let's do this. I've been waiting to do a casino. Cause Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Yeah, I guess. Caps for chips, I guess. Legion money? I don't think I have Legion money. How many money. chips would you like? Never mind. Is there anything else I can help you with? NCR money? How many chips would you like? Okay. But they accept all money, including with? Legion money. That's kind of crazy. How many chips would you like? Uh, a thousand chips for a thousand caps? Let's do 500 for 500 caps. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, let's make some yep. money. Let's do this. Let's play a little slots. Uh, increase bet. How high can you bet on slot? Oh my god, 40? Really? We'll spend 200 and see what we can get here. I never understood slots. Because some people dot live by it, but... Or they really enjoy it, I guess, but it just doesn't do it for me. Like, I have no control over this. You feel lucky, you win 80 chips. Apparently, we feel lucky. That's probably our 9 luck kicking in. Yeah. If we can get back up to even, I'm going to stop playing this. There we go. Alright. Thank you. Goodbye. One arm bandit, five out of. Oh, fine, we'll play slots ten more, t five more times to see if that actually. I mean, what if we get experience for playing slots ten times? You know what I mean? Sure, we'll give it five more spins here. Oh my god, that was almost really good. Hey, we're up! I can't believe it. Man, we never get a three in a row, do we? Oh, that one was so close. All right. Let's get back up to even here, and then we'll have ten plays. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is going the way I thought it would. With nine luck. That's slots for you. It's a trap. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there you go. Oh my god, you get experience for playing 10 games of slots. Are you serious? Are there more? Where are the challenges? I can't believe we're considered a wasteland savior. That's hilarious. Where are the challenges at? That are like giving us this experience. Can I keep track of... Oh, how to play caravan. At least 30 cards. Okay, we'll look at that later. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not trying to keep track of that right now. This seems so, like... <laughs> what? Wow, we have traded 60,000 caps. Idolized, accepted, vilified, liked, accepted, neutral, yeah. Man, I don't know where to find these. If I play one more game of slots here, will it show a new number for slots? Do we need to... Do I need to play slots off camera, possibly? Oh, shit. Well, that's an ugly number. Now that I've done one cap right there. One one bet. Alright, if I do that... No, I think it's just play it ten times. Alright, maybe we have to play roulette ten times. Uh... <laughs> what's the minimum bet? If we go for the big... Uh, if we go... How do I place it? Oh, it's W. Got it. Sorry, you guys are literally just watching me gamble right now. Uh, and then 23 is the golden number. 29 and 1. What do we got? 36. That ain't it. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. 
right, let's place the bet there. You can just bet four caps. That's like nothing. All right, 15, yeah. And then we increase to 10, I guess. And then I'll play this five times and see if there's a challenge for that too. We might as well grab the experience while we're here. <laughs> we're just going to keep losing money while we're here. That's basically the plan. <laughs> oh, I bet one again. Are you serious? We have to keep re-increasing the bet? For real? You're going to make me do that? Every time it starts over, I got to re-increase the bet? That seems really inconvenient. Do you know how many times we'd have to play this to actually win? All right, last roulette game right here. Unless there's a challenge for it. My brother, in real life, loves roulette games. I mean, yeah, you need to play this ten times. Okay, we'll play it five more times then. My, yeah, but my little brother loves roulette. In an actual casino, when we go on cruises or to Vegas or anything like that in real life, my brother is all over the roulette table. That's where almost all of his money goes. That and three-card poker. Three-card poker, I'll play with him because that's actually... I have some kind of control over it and it's fun, but... You have no control over roulette. At all. We're just going double zero. We're trying to win big, and if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Believe in the process. <laughs> no, don't believe in the process. This is just losing us money, but... I guess we just got the experience right there. I just heard it, so let's go ahead and stop now. We'll never win a game of roulette. It is what it is. <laughs> now let's play the real game. There we go. Time to play some blackjack. Well, there were other people here, but now there aren't. What's the max? 200 caps. Deal it. Oh, I can't double down against a 10. We'll stay on that. Big! You feel lucky, 200... Okay, so I bet our, our luck skill came into effect there. Deal it out. No, I can't... I, again, I can't... Oh my god, 16. So normally, I'd be really tempted to stay. This is kind of a bad situation, but with my luck skill, I want to trust in it. No, yeah, we lost. We lost either way. That's just one of those hands you're not going to win. Fair enough. Oh god. Good. You feel lucky again? <laughs> if not for our luck skill, we would not be doing very well right now. <laughs> oh my god, that was a terrifying when it when he hit ten on the turn there. That was crazy. Blackjack baby, look at our earnings climb. Yeah, this is how we get all our money back after we burnt it at the gun runners and getting implants. Mostly getting implants. God, we spent so much money on implants. That was unlucky. But all right. Hit me. Why did I do that? I'm not sure, but it ended up working out because we would have lost had I not done that. If these cards actually play out that way. I'm going to go risky. You should not do this in a real casino. Don't double down 11 against 10. Let's go. <laughs> you feel lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I think our luck stat is coming in huge right now. Oh, boy. There we go. And that one said, didn't say you feel lucky, so maybe that one was legitimately just normal luck. Damn, really? Yeah. I think there's our 10 hands of blackjack experience. There's the 21 off the top. Dude, I wish real blackjack was this easy. Look at the money we make out here. He blackjacked on us? Damn, we had a 10 set up. That sucks. That'll be fine. It wasn't fine. Our earnings! Our earnings! Let me know if you guys want me to uh, do this off camera or if you'd rather watch me gamble. Because I will probably play blackjack a lot. Damn. These hands are rough out here. Ooh, 20. We like that. You feel lucky. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> It's happening pretty often that it seems like the game is giving us some help. Wow, really? He turned a 21 in four cards. <laughs> 
Never hit 16 against a 4, by the way. I'm just hitting car I'm just hitting buttons at this point. Dude, this is crazy. I'm gonna do it. Double down. Oh. I'm gonna do it. Double down. Let's go! <laughs> uh, I feel like we're lucky enough I can hit double down a lot. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that's lucky. We definitely take that. I'm gonna see how much money we can pile up here. Double down. Dude, every time we're at 11 and I hit double down, we hit the 21. That's gotta be our stats coming in. What just happened? Have a seat and give Lady Luck a chance. Why'd you kick me out? Beer added? What? Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Bet Max again, please. Oh, this episode's getting long, isn't it? I got lost in, in the stuff. I, I got lost in the fun here. We did spend so much time on, uh... That sucks. We did spend so much time on getting those tips, though. But hey, now we've made it to the more... Uh, the more fleshed out, populated part of Freeside. We've made 200 caps already in here. 2,000, I mean. Which is huge. Made more than 2,000 caps in here already, so that's huge. We're gonna make uh, as much money in here uh, as we can in the near future here. And I guess I'll do it on camera, and that way if you want to watch, you can. And if you don't, you can just skip ahead of it. And that'll be how we do things, would be my guess. We feel lucky, thank God. I mean, what is happening? It keeps kicking me out. Whiskey added. Are they just... Dapper Gambler hat added. Are they just giving me stuff? Perception plus one? Okay. Have a seat and give Lady Luck a chance. Oh my god, that looks horrendous. Look at that. Ew, 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 ew. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here, I guess, uh, and then we're going to pick up here, uh, make a, make probably even a little more money at this casino at the start of the next episode, and then we'll head over to Silver Rush to see what kind of uh, activity we can get from the Van Graaff family, because they sound like they've got a lot of interesting things going on there. Blackjack, baby, let's go. Wait, they pay six to five on Blackjack? That's a ripoff. But whatever. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Nova and I in this journey in Fallout New Vegas and Arcade Ganon, of course. And that's 4,000 caps. We will see all of you. Ramen Nuka. Absent. They keep giving us free stuff. Dapper Gambler Suit, why not? Next time.